Okay, we're on. So. Okay, sorry, I'm always going <laughs> to be doing that in the beginning just to make sure that we are the right way. So, welcome to our class today. Uh, today we are going to be exploring some sea life creatures. Myself, Bryony, and Rowan are happy that you've joined us today. So uh, let's just start by settling ourselves as always. So again, you can either sit like Rowan sitting in heel sitting, or you can sit cross-legged as I'm sitting. So just get yourselves comfortable. I know in the beginning everyone's sort of finding the channel and setting out the mats. So I always just do like to leave a couple of moments while everybody meets us. But I can see some names starting to pop up now. So let's start off by closing our eyes if this feels good for you. Remember if you don't want to close your eyes, you can always just lower your gaze to the floor in front of you. We want to think of lengthening our spines and softening our shoulders, resting our hands on our knees, either with the palms facing down or the back of your hands on your knees with your fingers just curled round or you might like to place your thumb against your pointer finger. So just find a position that's comfortable for you as we ease ourselves into this afternoon session. We'll start with three deep breaths. Breathing in through your nose and breathing out. Breathing in through the nose and breathing out. Deep breath in and full breath out and then bringing our hands together in front of our heart centers and we'll start off with our usual little greeting the goodness in me sees and honors the goodness in you namaste namaste thank you for joining us today i don't know where this finds you in the world but here in london it is a beautiful sunny day outside so we're going to use our imaginations today and we're going to take a little trip to the sea. Uh, maybe go deep sea diving and see what creatures we can find. And then we're going to explore these poses with our bodies. So before we get going, maybe we'll just do that little pledge we started with this week. So you can always remind yourself of this pledge at any time. We bring our hands together in front of our hearts and you guys can repeat after me. I believe in myself. I believe in myself. Give yourselves a big hug. I love and honor my body. I love and honor my body. I can do yoga anytime. Yoga anytime. Anywhere. Anywhere. To energize myself. To energize myself. To calm myself. To calm myself. Or just to make myself feel better. And again, give yourself a nice big hug. All right, so that's a little intention we start with today. And remember, yes, we're on on a Tuesday morning at 11 and a Thursday afternoon at 3. But you can be practicing some of the things we learn in these classes at any stage during your day. Um, let's warm up our bodies. Now we've been exploring sitting warm ups for the, for the past couple of sessions. So we'll do a couple of those to remind us and to get us back into our flow. And then we might do some standing warm ups today too. So let's start off with the soles of our feet together, just holding onto our ankles and gently flapping those little butterfly wings. Now, as we are going to the sea today, I would like you to think of a sea creature you might find today in the ocean. And it might even begin with the same letter as your name. So I've had a little think, and as my name's Bryony, I think I'm gonna go for a blue whale today. Rowan, do you re remember the one we looked up? Mm. It was called the Requiem Shark, apparently quite a vicious shark. 
um, that lives in warm waters, warm seas. So I wonder if you can think of any that begin with the first letter of your name, or even just maybe think of a sea creature that you might like to see today. Now, obviously we only have half an hour, so we won't be able to explore all of them, but we'll try and explore as many as we can. All right, so we've done some little butterfly flaps with our legs. Let's come straight into heel sitting today. So over onto your knees. And we're gonna just place one hand down on the floor next to us. And with the other arm, we're gonna stretch up and give the side of your body a good stretch as you lean over to the side of your room. And then extend your arm up and let's swap, placing the hand the other way and a big stretch on the other side of the body and come back again. From here, interlace your fingers together and then push them away from you. And as we breathe in, we're gonna lift the arms up. And as we breathe out, open the hands and stretch your arms out to the side. Let's take the hands interlaced behind our backs this time. Open up your heart, open up your chest, and maybe you can lift your hands slightly away from the back of your body. So just opening up those shoulders. Good, let go of the hands and let's just give the hands a little shake. Maybe flick out those fingers. If you've been doing lots of schoolwork today, you may have been typing or writing or drawing or coloring. So let's just give those hands a little shake out today. All right, hands on your knees, breathe in, lift your shoulders up to your ears, and with a big sigh, let them go. <sighs> if you're feeling frustrated at all today or any time in your day, this is a really good one to do. So breathe in, lift those shoulders up, and then <sighs> let them go. All right, little exercise for the neck, just looking over the shoulder behind you back to the center and look over the shoulder, the other shoulder. And back to the center, looking up towards the sky or the ceiling. Back to the center and down at the floor. Good, from here we're gonna come into all fours. I wonder if you guys remember what all fours was. So Rowan's gonna be facing you and I'm gonna be do, doing some of the poses sideways. Um, so from here we're making a kind of box shape with the body. We're going to press our hands into the floor, press your knees into the floor. And first of all, we're going to do some cat and cows. We're going to round our backs like angry cats as we look towards our knees. Meow. And tuck your tailbone up towards the ceiling straight ahead. Moo. The sounds are optional. Depending on your age, you might want to do them or not. Round your backs. And tucking your tailbone up to the ceiling, looking straight ahead. Moo. One more time, rounding those backs, cats. Meow, meow. And then looking straight ahead, moo. From here, we're gonna take one leg behind us. Oh, metahodon and sphere. One leg behind us and the opposite arm in front, the opposite arm in front. And if you can, you might wanna lift them. See if you can hold them for five, four, three, two, one. Good, bring them back. Let's swap sides. Other leg goes back, opposite arm, lifting up for five, four, three, two, one, come back. From here, let's just remind ourselves of that little relaxation pose that we can come into at any stage, the child pose. So we're in heel sitting and we can roll ourselves forward. Like Rowan, you can either have your arms in front of you or you can take your arms to the side of your body and rest your head on the floor. This is a good one to do at any stage of your day where you might just want to calm the body down. So slowly coming up, let's come back into all fours, tuck your toes under, you're all familiar with this one too, the downward dog. So tuck your toes under, lift your thighs towards your belly. You can keep your legs nice and bent here stretch your arms into the floor and then starting to straighten out the back of your legs look towards your knees or towards your toes give your body a good stretch a good strengthen right we might want to lift one leg up here and bring it back down <laughs> you might meet some things behind you and lift the other leg up and bring it back down. Now bending the knees, we're going to walk our hands back towards our feet and slowly roll our bodies up. Right, now we haven't done our pointing and flexing of our toes. 
or warming up our ankles yet. So let's do that. This one today is a little bit of a balancing pose. So not only are we moving the joints of our bodies, but we're also really starting to focus our concentration. Uh, I'll put that there so it's not in front of us. Um, so I like to have the sphere there as something to concentrate on, to focus on, because that really helps me with my balance. If you've got a, a parent or a sibling, brother or sister doing yoga with you, you could always hold onto their hands if you're feeling a little wobbly. So let's bend at the knee, bend at the knee, and imagine you've got a pot of paint underneath your foot. And the first thing we're gonna do, keeping the thigh still, is stir the paint three times in one direction and three times in the other direction. Good, if you've still got your balance, keep your foot up. If you need to put your foot down at any stage, that's fine too. A wall is handy. Let's point and flex those toes, pointing, and flexing and maybe just moving the ankle we can do three circles in one direction and three circles in the other direction and then let's give that whole leg a shake 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 <laughs> and place your foot down on the floor let's do the other side so first of all bending the knee the bottom part of the leg just hangs down towards the floor and now keeping the thigh still we're going to stir that paint pot with our foot three times in one direction, three times in the other direction. Then straightening out your leg. I like to have my arms to the side to help me to balance. We're gonna point and flex, point and flex, ballet toe, yoga toe. All right, give that leg a shake, shake, shake. And then we are coming into mountain pose. This week and the week before, after our warm-ups, we always followed with a sun salutation. So we'll try and do that within each session, because this is a great sequence for you to keep practicing at home when you're on your own. So come to the front of your mats again. And into mountain pose. Mountain pose, arms by your side. Soften your shoulders. Just try and come into a good, grounded standing pose. From here we're going to take a deep breath in and breathe out and bring your hands together in front of your hearts. Breathing in as we stretch our arms up towards the sky and look up towards your ceiling. See if you can touch your ceiling and then bring your hands together, bring them down the midline of your body and fold from your waist. Bend your knees as much as you need to so you can place your hands on the floor and take a big step back with one foot, back knee on the floor, look straight ahead into your runner's lunge. Press both hands into the floor and then take the other foot back into plank position. And from here, we're gonna lower our knees, our chest and our chin. Keeping your elbows in, we're gonna gently push up into a baby cobra looking straight ahead. Excellent, from here, back, and up into downward dog. Lift those hips up, look at your feet, making that triangular shape with your body again. The foot that you step back, we're gonna lift up and step all the way forward, back to between the hands, back knee on the floor, look straight ahead. Bring the back leg forward to meet the front foot, and then lift your arms up using your breath and arms back down by your side. Remember in yoga, whatever we do on one side, we need to do on the other side too. But just to get our breath back, let's do a little hand breath in between. Take one hand out in front of you and with the other one, breathe in as we trace our thumb up. Breathe out as we come down. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. In and out. In and out. Ah, oh, that always helps to settle the heartbeat because this flow is really great for your cardiovascular system. So it's doing what it's meant to be doing. Let's do the other side. So come to the front of your mats again. I step my right foot back, so this time I'm going to step my left foot back. Mountain pose, look straight ahead. Take a deep breath in. 
and breathe out, bring your hands together in front of your hearts. Breathe in and stretch your arms up to the sky, look up at the sky. See if you can touch your ceiling, I can almost touch ours. And then hands down the midline of your body, folding from the waist. Bend your knees and place your hands on the floor. Step the other foot back, back knee into runner's lunge and look straight ahead. Take the other foot back into plank position. And then lower your knees, your chest and your chin. Elbows in, glide yourself up into a low cobra. Beautiful. From here up into downward dog, tuck those toes under, make a triangle shape of your body and look at your toes. The leg that we step back, we're gonna lift up and step it all the way forward. Back to between the hands, back knee on the floor, look straight ahead. Bring the other foot. Use your arms and your breath to lift yourself up and breathe out, back into mountain pose. Beautiful, I think we might need a couple of deep breaths with our Hoberman sphere. Would you like to do the honors? Sure. Thank you. So deep breath in, deep breath out. This is what your lungs are doing as you breathe. Breathe in as they open and expand and fill with air. And breathe out as we squeeze that air out of the body, making way for the next deep breath. One more, breathe in. And wow, breathe out. Good, and just like Rowan did there, the slower we exhale, and for the longest, longer time we exhale, the more and more it can help to calm ourselves. So, Sea creatures, let's explore some of these with our bodies, starting with the jellyfish. So, first of all, make your body really stiff, and then we're just gonna start with jellyfish fingers. We're gonna just wiggle the fingers, wiggle them, wiggle them, wiggle them, wiggle them, freeze. Jellyfish arms, shake the arms, shake them, shake them, shake them, shake them, shake them, shake them, freeze. Jellyfish shoulders, Shake those shoulders, shake them, shake them, shake them, shake them, freeze. Jellyfish hips, shake them, shake those bottoms, shake, 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 freeze. Jellyfish knees, jellyfish legs, and the whole jellyfish body, head, tongue, everything, shake it, blah, 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 blah. shake it up high, shake it down low, and freeze. Breathe in, breathe out. All right, next one is the starfish. Now a starfish is not actually a fish. In fact, many people call them sea stars. And they generally have five arms. So we have one, two, three, four, five. We have five arms. And actually at the end of each one of our arms is a little eye socket. Imagine you had eyes at the end of your hands and at the end of your feet. So as we are starfish, we do. And we're gonna see if we can balance today. We've been exploring the tree pose. This time I'd like you to just take your weight onto one foot and let's see if we can lift the other one up for five, four, three, two, one. Come down. Amazing balancing. Let's try the other side. Get out those five uh, star, sea star arms. Let's come onto the other foot. Find your balance and let's lift one, two, three, four, and five. Come down. All right, from here we're gonna transition down. We're gonna come up onto our tippy toes. We're gonna to bend our knees as we come down, down, down. Uh-oh, we have a technical issue. It appears that the battery is running low on the phone. So sorry for the Instagrammers if you lose us, but you can always find us on Bryony Duckett YouTube channel later on. Little plug there. <laughs> All right, so we'll continue anyway. We're gonna do a dolphin pose now. Again, Rowan's gonna do it facing forward and I'm gonna do it from the side. So this one looks a little bit like our downward dog, except we're doing it on our forearms. 
So I want you to imagine that you've got some glue and you're putting some glue on your forearm so that they do not lift off the floor. Really important in this pose because we want to protect our wrists. It's quite a strong pose. Good for building up strength in your arms and your shoulders. So coming forward, interlace your fingers. Come up onto your knees, tuck your toes under, lift your hips up and glide your dolphin forward and back. Forward and back. Then down onto your knees because you'll feel it's pretty strong. Sink back onto your heels and let's come into a little sea sponge. Make a little ball with your body. Child pose. Child pose. Slowly roll yourselves up. Let me just come here for a second. All right. Okay, so pause the Instagrammers. Sorry if you lost us for a moment. I think, as I was just saying, the phone is running low, unfortunately. Um, so you can always find us over on Facebook or you can get the rest of the lesson later on YouTube. Sorry for that technical difficulty. All right, so here we are. We're going to do an oyster pose. So sitting with your legs crossed, probably easier for this one. Now, if you're younger than five or six, you might find having your hands on the floor is a little um, easier for you, but if you've got good, strong core muscles, you might wanna have your hands on your knees. So babe, may, blah, blah, blah. losing my words now. So just try whichever one feels good for you. The oyster pose, imagine this is the bottom of the shell and this is the top, and we're gonna open and close our oyster shell. So hands on your knees, Breathe in. As we breathe out, we lean forward and we make the sound And then breathing in as we come up. Rowan's gonna demonstrate the hands on the floor option. So breathe in. This time as we come down, again, the sound Breathe in as we come up. One more time. Breathe in as we come up. Now we could do that another six times. The next three, you would make the sound. Breathe in. We'll do two quick ones, shall we? Breathe in. Breathe in. And then the last ones, the last three, we'll make the sound as if we're blowing out a candle, so not much sound at all. Blowing out the candle. In. If you find you're falling on your head, definitely put your hands on the floor. All right, those lovely three long, well, it's nine actually, long deep breaths again helps to calm our nervous systems of our body down. Also any forward bends are generally just calming for the whole body and for the mind. So feeling stressed, think to do forward bends, child poses, long exhalations in your breathing. The next one, one of my personal favorites is the turtle. So take your feet to the side. I wonder if any of you had turtle as your creature. We're gonna open up our knees we're gonna take our hands down the legs and then push them out to the sides. And we are gonna be turtles who have traveled all around the world. Now we know turtles don't really, well, they communicate with each other, but they wouldn't speak languages like we do. But these particular turtles do. So they're gonna greet us in many different languages and find you wherever you may be. So first of all, you're gonna stretch your long turtle neck and say, hello. 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 And then we're going to go into our little shell. Goodbye. Goodbye. As we come up, we're going to be French turtles and we're going to say bonjour. Bonjour. And when we go back into our shell, do you know how to say goodbye in French? Au revoir. Now we're going to be Spanish turtles. We're going to come up and say 
Hola! And when we go back into our shell, we're going to say adios. Adios. And last of all, as I am from Africa, we're going to come up and we're going to be Zulu turtles. And we're going to say, ha. <laughs> Suddenly forgot how we say hello. Saubona. Saubona. And we are staying, but you are going. Well, one is Humba and one is Sala, but we're going to say Humba Gashle as we go. Humba Gashle. Anyone is welcome to correct us on those <laughs> and maybe send us countries where you are from. We can try and explore different languages for another session. And which, wherever you are watching now and whatever languages you might speak at home, maybe you can be turtles from those countries and greet each other in those languages. Another great one to do if there's more than two of you, three or four of you, is the sea anemone pose. I wonder if we could try. Tricky with two, but basically it's like the turtle. You take your hands under your legs, you take your arms out to the side, and then you find an arm next to you. If there was another person here, we'd be taking their hand, but we're going to try and do it together. All right. And then... You lean back, you lean back, you lean back. I need to come really close. We, we lean back, we lean back. Oh, it's kind of working. Let's see if we can lift our legs up, 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 up. And then you'll probably let go, but try not to bash the wall behind you. And let's shake our arms, shake our legs. And then we can imagine we are seaweed. And just allow your seaweed to move gently and gracefully in the sea from side to side. All right, as we're down on our backs, oh, and we're nearing the end of our session, let's do a couple of sea creatures down on the floor, and then we'll finish off with our relaxation. So, imagine you've got hold of some seaweed, and you're lowering yourself down, slowly, 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 vertebra by vertebra as we come onto our backs. Let's do the whale pose. So keep your feet on the floor with your heels towards your sitting bones, your knees pointing up towards the ceiling, and your arms down by the side of your hips. Imagine in your tummy, you've got the whale um, blowhole, and we're gonna breathe in through the nose. And as we breathe out through the mouth, we're gonna lift the hips up towards the sky. So breathing in, breathing out, Breathing in as we come down. You might know this as the yoga pose called the bridge pose. So try and always look up towards the sky. Try not to look to the side in this pose. So take another deep breath in. And as we breathe out through the mouth, making that spouting sound, we lift the hips up. And then lower your back down to the floor. Bring your knees into your chest. And as we give ourselves a little hug, we could maybe all say, I love my body. I love my body. Yes, we love our bodies. We appreciate all our bodies can do for us. Right, just to calm ourselves down before the relaxation, still keeping your feet on the floor, we're gonna just do some little waves. Some little waves with, the, with our knees. I need to come off my mat for this one. And I want you to use your breath and make the sound of the ocean. So first of all, we take a breath in. And then we allow the knees to drop over to the side. Breathing in. And breathing out. Breathe in as we lift the knees up. Breathe out as we let them drop to the other side. Breathe in. And breathe out. For these last couple, you might want to breathe in, lift your knees up. And then as we breathe out, we take our knees to one side and our heads gently roll to the opposite side. Breathe in. Breathe out. Last one. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. And then
then just allow your body to come into our Shavasana, our relaxation. So if you're feeling a little chilly, you might want to get a blanket at this point or maybe put some socks on or a jumper. It's pretty warm where we are right now. So are you warm enough, Rowan? Yeah. Okay. So just allow your arms to come away from the side of your body and your feet flop out to the side. This is that wonderful part of the class where we just try and find our stillness so that all the benefits from all those poses and stretches that we've just done start to work their magic through your body. Healing, strengthening, lengthening. Oh, there's a little mew coming from outside, it seems. Banjo the cat would like to join us for relaxation. But the rest of us are still laying really still on the mats. Calming our bodies. Okay. So just feel your heels of your floor, heels of your feet sitting down. Heavy on the floor beneath us. I thought the cat would make a little appearance at some stage. He's curious and hopefully he doesn't knock everything off. Banjo. Sometimes during a relaxation, it doesn't always go quite to plan. But anyway, hopefully the rest of you are still nice and still and calm on your mats. Imagine that you're little blobs of butter and you're melting into the mat beneath you. Every time we breathe out, it's like the body gets heavier, but also softer in the same time. Your arms and legs all floppy like cooked spaghetti. See if you can close your eyes for a moment. You might even like to imagine that you're on the beach after that underwater adventure and feel the sunshine on your cheeks. Maybe you can hear the sound of seagulls in the air. Maybe you could even taste a little delicious vanilla ice cream on your tongue. Smell the sea air. So even as many of us are in our homes at this point, we can still use our imaginations and take ourselves to anywhere we'd like to be in this moment. Finding stillness, peace and calm. So holding on to that lovely feeling in your bodies, your minds, your hearts, gently wiggling your fingers and your toes. We're going to slide our heels towards us and then gently roll over onto the side of your body. Make a little pillow with your hands. And then slowly roll yourselves up. All right. Sorry to the Instagrammers, I know you've had a bit of a, uh, a paused on and off session. Ah, and this, for any of you who were lying down and not distracted, meet Banjo. Banjo usually sleeps in the morning sessions, but of course he's awake now. So he's just popped in to say hi. All right, so let's finish off the class. Again, sitting back in heel sitting or your hands on your knees. Yes, well done, Banjo, sitting well. And we will finish off with those three deep breaths. Breathing in and breathing out. Breathing in deeply and breathing out completely. Last one. Breathing in and breathing out.
bringing our hands together in front of our hearts and as we bow to each other the goodness in me the goodness in us sees and honors the goodness in you thank you for joining us namaste if you missed part of the session or would like to do it again at any stage we'll be uploading it to the Bryony Duckett Yoga Bees uh, YouTube channel and if you can please subscribe like and subscribe and and hit that notification bell and hit that notification bell otherwise we'll be back on Tuesday at 11 a.m. on Facebook live Instagram live we'll be fully charged next time and we look forward to seeing you then. Thank you very much. Namaste.